Hello everyone. Welcome to the wheel loader weigh scale calibration video. My name is Austin Mulligan. I'm the parts manager here at Jappa and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. So first things first, you want to start with a machine that's ready to work. So uh, it's important to have not only the engine warm, but you need the hydraulic oil to be up to operating temp. So once the uh, once you have the machine warmed up and uh, you could consider it ready to work you done your pre-check and all that jazz uh, if you got an empty bucket and a warm machine we're ready to rock the only other thing I would prep actually is uh, also make sure that you have some serious weight so today we're gonna be using some cutting edges and some blown up rear drive axles so I got my scale over there I've weighed all this um, I should be at around 4,000 pounds alrighty so now I'm in the cab I got the machine fired up uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is raise the idle so if you're unfamiliar to our switchboard here this DEC think of the DEC in terms of decelerate so inversely if we go up that's our idle up so that's raising the idle so it works in about 50 rpm increments when when you're working these machines um and you're doing something like this to calibrate raise your rpms get them to a thousand uh, just have it consistent our machines run very happy at a thousand if you're trying to save fuel run it lower but uh i find the Hydraulic performance is uh, very consistent when we're sitting at a thousand RPMs and we're never lugging on the engine, which is, uh, you know, that's huge. So let's go to our weigh scale here. To start, I've already entered into it, but uh, you'd have to hit OK, OK, OK. Now we'll hit F6. Now we're going to arrow to weight calibrate. We're gonna hit okay. Our password is eight, eight, five, seven, nine, nine. Okay, alrighty. So now we are here. Now the system's going to tell us, it's going to give us a little bit of a walkthrough. I don't think it's that excellent, so that's why I'm doing this video. Um, all it's telling you here is fully load the bucket, raising and lowering a few times over three or four minutes. Uh, when the weight value is stable, you can consider it warm. Okay. So, step one, like I said before, we want an empty bucket. So, we... We know that we're good for this, so what we're going to do, if you have auto lift set, use that because you need this speed to be perfectly consistent. So all I'm gonna do is auto lift. Okay, let it finish. The beep you heard is, uh, is the weigh scale telling you that it's weighing. So we've got it lifted empty, so now we're gonna hit okay. Fully load the bucket. Now what we're going to do is lower it back down. And then we're going to load in our weight. You need to know exactly how much weight you have. That's probably obvious, but I'll just say that anyways. So next time you see, I'm going to have those cutting edges in here. I'm gonna have those drive axles on top of them just so that I have a serious amount of weight to make sure that my calibration is nice and accurate. Alrighty, we got the bucket loaded up. We got our weight, 4160 pounds. It doesn't tell you, but you do need to hit okay. And then you auto lift once it's loaded. So if you did it the other way, I don't think it'll be detrimental. Okay, so we're up. We got our readings there. We're gonna hit okay. 
but put that in. Eighty-seven will round up and okay, and you are done. Please return to the main form. Let's lower this. Escape. Great. Okay, that's done. Now, just for the sake of it, let's test it. I'm gonna do not an auto lift, but I'll just keep it a steady speed and. 1.91 tons. Hydraulic oil temp is probably not where it needs to be. Um, you know, yeah, see, I'm way low. Uh, that, that, that's probably where that 10 or 8% variance is gonna come from. Um, but if you follow that procedure and you use a properly warmed up machine uh, and you use accurate weights, that is the process and that is really it it's it's quite simple um you know the biggest pain is uh is just finding something that is heavy enough and convenient enough to load up with the bucket when you're doing your calibrations so that's the process and uh i will have a couple more videos on these machines uh for my city of edmonton guys really excited to uh show off all the stuff that uh that we can do with these